All right, well, good Sunday evening, everybody. We are coming to you again. I know we just made a video Friday night. Uh, we wanted to kind of come back, and I don't know if you want to call this maybe a part two um, discussion about the issue with filming in the National Park. There's several things. This is going to be kind of a hodgepodge as far as what we talk about tonight. Probably not maybe 15, 20 minute long video. I don't know yet. Um, but just want to say a few things, address a few things that have been said. Um, and maybe just talk about what we're going to be doing upcoming soon. Um, we do, we are going to talk about the situation with filming in the National Park, um, what we found out, what we still don't know, things like that. Um, when we posted that video, uh, actually we did it Friday night, it didn't actually upload until uh, yesterday, Saturday. I think we had far more comments on that video than any other that I remember we've had. I was looking at the comments and I think we had maybe some 70, 80 comments, and this one was well over 300 within just a few hours. And um, he's been trying to answer each and every one of them. Yeah, and honestly, I'll be honest, it's overwhelming. <laughs> um, last night, we actually met up with some friends down in Winston-Salem, which is a, a little over 70 miles from where we live. Uh, we drove down there, and uh, we got down there a little early, and we're walking around the Haynes Mall a little bit. She is. She's shopping in J.C. Penney, and I'm standing in J.C. Penney answering comments. Mm -hmm. And uh, honestly, after we ate with our friends last night and left them, uh, she ended up driving home, and I spent, the, this is no exaggeration, the entire ride home replying to comments. And still didn't finish. And still didn't finish. Mm -hmm. So let me just say, first of all, if I didn't reply to your comment, it may be because I was just, I overlooked doing it. I may have just given a reaction. One of the policies that we have tried to have, um, and I don't want this taken wrong, so let me just be careful how I say it. I've always looked at it like this. If somebody watches us and takes the time to comment, I would like to take the time to at least respond with something. If, not, if a thank you or we agree or whatever it may be, we want to do that. When we get the kind of reaction we did last night, it was very hard, if not impossible. And it's honestly, the more, the more subscribers you get, the harder it gets, too, yeah. because you get more comments. And then not, in addition to the comments, we get a lot of messages sent to us about this. We've had several messages sent to us about this. And uh, I did. I literally spent the drive from Winston-Salem back home last night over 70 miles while she was driving, just responding to one comment after another. Mm -hmm. And got home and did some more, and then did some more today. Um, I know some of the comments were short. Some of them were long, and some of them deserved a little bit of a response. Uh because of the nature of the comments. So uh, anyway, that's that. But um, we're going to uh, talk about some more things. So as far as the situation with the National Park, we're getting a lot of conflicting information at this point. I've, uh, I have emailed the park about this. I do intend, I don't know really what else to do. Uh, I know if, if you don't stand up and do something, people are just going to run roughshod over your rights. And Look, the constitutional issue here is very clear. First Amendment, we have a First Amendment. A lot of people have no idea what the First Amendment is. Um, a lot of people say, well, the First Amendment is about separation of church and state. That is not true. That is not true. That, the, those words, separation, church, or state, do not appear anywhere in the First Amendment. Uh, what the First Amendment does, it is not to keep God out of government. It is to keep the government out of the church's business. That is exactly why it was established. Um, the term separation of church and state was never in the First Amendment. It was actually in a letter written by Thomas Jefferson to the Baptist in Danbury, Connecticut, who were concerned about uh, there being established a state church, and he was assuring them that absolutely not. There will never be a state religion. You will have the freedom to practice your religion and your beliefs as you see fit, and you can speak about it. That's what the First Amendment is. It's the right of expression of free speech. So we stand for that. We believe this situation with the National Park falls under that. And obviously so did the judge who initially overturned it. And then another judge comes and decides to side with the National Parks. So to us, the constitutional aspect of this is clear. Uh, filming on Now, I would not have a right to come into your yard and start filming. And uh, Believe me, I understand that. That's, that's your property. The National Parks are a public property. They, are, they belong to the taxpayers. So... That is what our issue is with this. It is because this is taxpayer property. These people that we elect, and it does matter how you vote, okay? These people that we elect work for us. They're supposed to be. They're supposed to be working for our interests. Now, I think we know that on both sides of this, um, that's not always the case. So, 
let me just say this. We, we um, have a political stance. We rarely ever mention anything political in our videos. Now, I'm going to say something to the, the, a few of you that tried to tell us not to. Uh, I'll go back to the First Amendment. This is our channel. This is our platform. You use your channel and your platform how you want to. Okay? If you can say what you want on our channel, so can we. Don't come on ours trying to tell us what we can and can't say. Okay? We are not a political channel, but I'm sorry. This issue is a little political. So, um, I'm, I'm getting ready. I'm going somewhere with this. I want to make a, a comment here about that. Uh, we have a political stance, but there are even people that we have voted for and supported that we wish we hadn't. Okay? Where are you going? Bug landing on me. <laughs> okay. uh -huh. She's getting mad and leaving. So, um, what was it, a stink bug? How many of y'all have stink bugs? <sighs> we don't have many, but once in a while. Have you ever seen my face get out red? I can't tell. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> We already have a new subscriber. <laughs> so. um, what, what was I saying? I don't know. <laughs> oh, but I think I was talking about the First Amendment um, and, and politics. Yeah. You know, we, we're, our channel is not going to be political. Our channel is to show you fun places, and yes, we are going to speak of our faith. We're going to do that freely. We will not apologize to anybody for that. We will not change that for anybody. Okay, not YouTube, not anybody else. So I want to make that clear. But unfortunately, this issue does kind of get into the political. So I had, had several people yesterday. Um, I want to be fair with this. Some, several people... I will say this, about 98% of the comments that we got of the 300, and I don't know how many it was, it's well over 300, agreed 100% with us. Um, there were a few that basically were trying to tell us what we should and shouldn't say, and to that, I'm going to say, you don't get to tell us that, okay? You get to do use your channel the way you want to. And a couple people said that we had lost their respect. Well, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry if we lost your respect for uh, stating an opinion about our freedoms, uh, now, with that, I want to be fair, and I want to acknowledge uh, one criticism I got that was legitimate, and I have to make a correction here. Um, I'm not too good to do that, all right? Um, I made a comment, to be honest with you. It was not a planned comment. It was not something I was going to say. I was just talking. Um, I made an off-the-cuff comment um, when I mentioned how a judge had overturned the previous ruling where uh, a judge initially ruled that it was unconstitutional to require people like us to have a permit, which I believe was the right ruling. I don't know what that judge's political stance is on other issues, but I applaud them for that. So then another judge, who, had, who I honestly at the time of making that video did not know who it was. So I made an uninformed comment. Uh, I made a little snide remark, because uh, it, it was not planned. It just kind of popped into my head and come out my mouth. I think you, everybody in here has done that. And I made a comment that said, probably a leftist judge. Well, I got corrected on that, and I, I deserve to be corrected on that because I had not researched who the judge even was. Um, I found out that it was a, um, a conservative, right-leaning judge uh, appointed by Reagan. So I, I researched that, and that was true. So I actually edited that part of the video out. If you listen to the video now, that, that remark has been removed because it was inaccurate. So... I'm going to say that first of all. The reason it's removed has nothing to do with any of you that complained. Okay? If, if I had been correct in what I said, I wouldn't have cared if a thousand of you complained. It would still be there. Um, you're not the reason I removed it. The inaccuracy of the remark is the reason I removed it because I endeavor. You ask her, I'm very meticulous. I don't want to spread anything that's not true. Uh, I'm a Christian. Okay? The Bible teaches me and tells me that what I say needs to be factually accurate and I, I was not on that issue so I, I took that out. So I, want, I also want to address that here. So um, regardless, of, listen, let me just say this about uh, that. We have a political party but I heard somebody saying I kind of agree with this. Republican and Democrats just two wings of the same buzzard. Okay, <laughs> you can take that for what you... Now, I think one wing might be a little better, but uh, they, they both are on the same buzzard if you want to get right down to it. So um, there's, there's some bad rulings that have come from both sides, some bad things. And listen, I think uh, you need to do your research before you vote. I think, uh, but, and I'm going to tell you why I made that remark. Okay, again, I, I didn't research before I did it. It just well, wasn't planned. It just came out. 
So this is where some of y'all are not going to like. You're going to say, okay, I'm glad you addressed that. You're, you're going to not like me again now. In the last few years, most of the um, decisions and rulings that have violated our constitutional rights have come from that side. So I made an assumption that this one did, this one did not. Okay, so I want to make that correction, but at the same time, I'm going to tell you why that assumption was made, even though it turned out to not be a correct assumption this time. Uh, it was made because that, that is the way it's been working, okay? Uh, and you'd have to be blind to not see that and not acknowledge that. So I'm going to leave that there. And again, this is our channel. We can say this if we want to. Do you agree with me on that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you got anything you want to say on that? No. All right. So where we are with the national park situation is we're hearing a lot of conflicting information, a lot of it in the comments. Uh, we have gone to the website. Now, according to the Great Smoky Mountains website under nps.gov, the information that's on there now seems to mean we're okay. All right, it basically, let me get me a drink here. It help refresh my memory on what we said, but basically if it's just up to two people and we're using just a camera and a tripod, the fee, I'm sorry, the per, the permit should not cost us anything. There's still the application fee. Okay, so then, yeah, that's what we heard today is the application fee is still, I guess they said $100. And that's, that, that's where we're having the issue with this. Yeah, I mean, if you only did it for like once a year and you, you know, gave the dates you were going to be recording that you know of, that would be great. Like if we had hikes planned out and we knew where we were going, that would be one thing. But whenever it's like spur of the moment, it's like, okay, well, there was a beautiful snowfall fall, and we want to go mm -hmm. record that. That That's not fair. You know, right. we, we can't do that then. So, yeah, and that's the thing. So I was encouraged by what I saw on the website. But then we noticed that was dated 2016, so we figured maybe an update's coming. So With this coming out, I think they're going to have to make a lot of things more clear. I mean, yeah, yeah, they called out YouTubers and TikTokers and stuff like that. But there's still so much still up in the air that they're going to have to come out. So, I mean, we're going to be careful and, you know, do what's right, obviously, and stuff like that. But, you know, we're just praying and hoping that it'll be to where we can, you know, show yeah. more videos. And, we, and had some, we had some plans this summer to feature some hikes. I had told you all about one last uh, camping trip, last Labor Day weekend that we were going to do. Uh, that is in the National Park, and it's a beautiful place. So... There's a couple of options we're looking at. We're hoping this will get resolved by them. We don't know. We don't know what's coming from this. Most of our stuff is not in the National Park. In fact, I got a little worried that some of the stuff we've already posted, we posted several things in the fall that were in the National Park. It's like, we don't want to get hit with fines. But my understanding is that October 28th was the date that, this, that the previous ruling was overturned, and then they ruled again in favor of the National Parks. I think all of our fall stuff was up before October 28th. Uh, so the only one that would be affected is one we did last week when we were totally unaware of this. Um, so we should be good with everything that we've got up. We're not taking anything down mm -hmm. unless we have to take the one down from last week. Um, that was just, you know, that was a big snow drive up to Newfound Gap, and that's all yeah, that. Yeah, we were pretty yeah. excited about yeah, it. Yeah, we were pretty excited about it. I wanted to <laughs> well, share that yeah. with y'all. The heartbreaking thing about, uh, about this is the messages that we've uh, received just since that video was posted yesterday are from people who tell us what our videos mean to them mm -hmm. and how they don't get there much anymore or they they used to be able to go and have such fond memories of it the only way they get to go there now is through people like us and others who take them there through our videos mm -hmm. now that that works on me that works on me uh, because so many people, that's that's how they get to sit. They do it vicariously through us. And that's that's a shame that um, people in Washington or whoever, wherever this is coming from, the NP, maybe it's the Department of Interior, uh, they don't care about that. They basically see a platform where people are sh sharing their experiences and maybe making a little money on it, and they, they got their hand out. They want some of it, even though they didn't do any of the work. They don't own the land. Now, that's my issue with this. Who owns the national parks? Show me your deed that, it that tells me that I have to get your permission to do it. We've had about 25 comments, I guess trying to educate, say, oh, you can still record, you just can't uh, do it commercially. 
Yeah, I, I look, we know what the argument is. The, the, the problem is this. If we work hard to build our channel, that's none of their business. Okay, if, if our channel, our channel was not monetized for almost two years, and it has only been recently. Uh, we have not made enough to cover the fees we may have to um, fork out to do this. So it's just going to have to come down to, is it worth it or not? Uh, we're not going to stop doing videos. Right, no. But we may have to be selective where we can do them. Like if we want to show a pretty snowfall, we may have to ride up to Roan Mountain or Beach Mountain instead of the Smokies. Mm -hmm. Or we may have to stay outside, like we went to Maggie Valley. That That's all fine. We can do all that. Yeah. Uh, but as far as like some of the hikes we were going to bring you, we don't know. We don't know what's what. We're going to have to get some clarity on this, and right now we don't have it. We I noticed that we have a lot of legal experts commenting on our stuff, that uh, we've had some tell us this is not going to affect you at all, and then others tell us that, oh, yeah, this affects you. I don't mean this bad. I know every one of y'all have good intentions, but we can't go on what the comments are telling us. I'm not willing to put our necks out there for that. Uh, I know you mean well, but we just we can't do that. We have to find out what repercussions could be from this and what we actually can do. Um, if, if we find out that we can get a permit just being two people, uh, I'll get the permit. I, I think it's wrong to have to get the permit. Believe me, I, that, that just goes against my grain. Uh, because, again, it's almost like saying, it's almost like acknowledging I need your permission to do this, and we shouldn't. Um, one of the comparisons, and again, I, folks, I'm just speaking my heart here. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to ridicule. But some of the comments we got are, are, are mind-boggling. Um, had several that are saying um, about, had one to see, and I couldn't believe it, says, did you YouTubers ever think that you might be threatening national security? I had to read that in three times. We're threatening national security by recording a video of our hike. And this person actually said, and if you're watching, okay, you, you, I'd like for you to explain more on this. This person actually said to us that, that there are people who have bad plans, want to commit crimes, and we're giving them the layout of the National Park. Folks, we're not even flying a drone. They're not getting an aerial view. You can't fly a drone in the National Park. You mean to tell me us walking through the woods is going to give somebody a layout of the National Park? You, you, you've got to be insane. Uh, you know, we just had a balloon fly over our country that we waited till it got out in the ocean to get rid of it, and you're telling me that we're the national security threat here? I, I, don't, I don't know what to say to that. Yeah. Do you know what to say to that? I'm um, not saying anything. Yeah, <laughs> just I think we'll just let that one go. <laughs> um, we've had several comments that were um, basically just trying to tell us that we shouldn't be able to exploit the park. Uh, I, maybe look up what exploit means. No, again, this is public lands we're putting on our channel. We do a lot of things on our channel. We're not exclusively a national park channel. We are a channel that shares our experiences. But I think one of the worst arguments I heard, to be honest with you, is what is the difference between you doing it and a major film crew doing it? Or, I mean, really? Let me let me go ahead and outline some of the major differences. And let me just say something that I saw uh, Will and Dawn hit on earlier. They did a live stream earlier this afternoon. And I want to say, guys, I appreciate the mention on your channel, uh, the kind words you said about us. We appreciate that. Um, and because uh, we were watching you guys, I think it was maybe after the live stream had started, we got home from church and we were watching. So I uh, appreciate what y'all said about us. Uh, but he brought out some really good points. I would encourage you, uh, I think they're doing another live stream tonight. Maybe, I don't know if it's still going on. Their normal one that they do on Sunday yeah. night. Um, yeah. But I would encourage you to watch that because he gave a lot of good information, maybe a lot of good options that we may have to look at. So, um, but um, what, what was I saying? I was going to mention something that he said. Oh, I was talking about, major, about film crews. Um, I don't know that he, I don't remember if he said this or not, but a point I want to make on that is um, there's a vast difference between what we're doing and a film crew. We are not requiring that a portion of the National Park be sectioned off for a production. We, what we're doing does not require any rangers to make sure that nothing is disturbed. What we're doing does, does not utilize any park resources. We're talking about sitting in a campground, recording yeah. us cooking our meal, showing you our dog, showing you our tent, our drive through Cades Cove. The same thing that thousands of other people are doing, but just not uploading. The only difference is we're uploading. And to that character earlier that said we were a threat to national security, he made another comment right under that and says, you can still record, just not make money off of it. Now, I'm, I'm sorry, help me with this one. You're advocating we still record the same things we would be recording if we were uploading it, 
But for some reason, if we're uploading it and make a few dollars on it, that's a threat to national security, and it gives criminals an overview of the park. But if we do it and, and don't monetize it, but still upload the same thing, then somehow that's okay. That's mind-boggling to me. So that's, that's my, the, the logic there and the rationale behind that is mind-boggling. I'm sorry if that offends you. Uh, that was honestly a ridiculous comment. So, um, you know, I, I don't think we're the threat to national security here. I think we're just two ordinary people who love the park. We've been going for years. We've been recording for years. We just use this platform to share our experience with others. That's, that's it. That is not the same as bringing a film crew in there with special equipment where they have we to. We set up nothing. Yeah, they have to close off a section of the park to yeah. keep visitors out while this is being done. Something like that ought to require a permit. Something like that ought to require a cost. Uh, if you're going to utilize the park's resources like that, you ought to have to pay. We're talking about we're doing the same thing other people are doing. We're just uploading it. How many times have we walk, uh, got out and walked in Kate's Cove, been driving through, and we see people with their hands stuck out the window with their phones recording and with their cameras recording? The only difference is a few of us are uploading it. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. We're not doing anything they're not doing. Right. Um, then I heard a comment about how all of the YouTubers are doing stupid things in the park and, and causing the rangers to... I don't know who you're talking about. Everyone we have watched... Now I'm not saying there hasn't been an isolated incident, but we have watched so many of the people who do videos in and around the park. I've seen none of them do anything but promote respect for the area. Uh, I'm going to mention um, Sean Hussey. I'm going to mention him here. Uh, we, we met him a little over a week ago. And um, I saw him post a video yesterday where he went and took, of his own time, he went in there and picked trash up. Mm -hmm. That's doing the park a service, my friend. That is not hurting the park. That is not making the ranger's job harder. That's making it a lot easier. And he's picking up trash thrown down by people who are not uploading videos to YouTube for the most part. So who's doing the harm here? Mm -hmm. Is it people like us who shoot a video, upload it, and because we have enough subscribers and have enough watch hours, we, we get a little money? Not just for that, but when we go out to eat, same thing. Uh, it's, it's not that we're just making money off the park videos. Who's doing the harm here? Who, is it the people who just go in there and, and write their names like Steve and Susie was here on the National Park sign as you enter in? Or you walk into one of the cabins in Cades Cove and uh, literally it's all over the place. Walk in, you want, you want to see something depressing? Walk into the tunnel at the road to nowhere. That's bad. From one end to another is spray painted graffiti. That's within the National Park. Mm -hmm. And i just be honest with you, some of it's some of the most vulgar, vile stuff we may have somebody watching, you've done that. Listen, if you have no more respect for the park, and not just the park, but other people who bring their children there, that you would put obscenity and profanity where people have to read that, you're the problem, not us. Am I, am I going overboard here? No, you're right. I don't, I don't want to. It's just... Um, but some of the comments have been made to us, like, like we, we are the problem. We're not the problem. Um... It was brought up that maybe people don't want to be recorded. Well, first of all, we never put our camera in anybody's face and say, here, you're, because some people don't like that. Uh, we had a man who watched our Cades Cove camping trip from last year, and he was excited. He, he says, at this point in your video, when, you, when you're uh, sitting there talking about your supper, he says, you see that red truck in the background? And sure enough, there was. He says, that was me. We were there then. <laughs> and he was like, maybe we'll see y'all. He said, we'll be there again. I want to meet y'all. He was excited. We have been, we have found ourselves on some videos. There was a guy that came to our little small town. He actually goes to the small towns in North Carolina. I don't even remember his name. And he just records the small towns, even if he don't know anything about them. My wife works for the town, so he was walking through our town recording here a few months ago, and I see her her blue car sitting there. I, I, I hollered for her to come in there. We weren't mad. Oh, how dare him. And I said, look, there's your car. We were, it was cool. Well, and then it, um, in our um, Dahlonega, mm -hmm. you know, we saw ourselves, and then there was another couple that saw themselves on ours. So, it's stuff like that's yeah. pretty neat. Yeah, there was know? a guy walking through Dahlonega, Georgia, um, on Black Friday, um, 2021, and he was recording the lighting festival, and he got us. We, we were there, too. And I, I said, hey, come here. There, there we are. So, I let him know there we are. So, he watched ours. He says, well, there I am. So... That's cool. Most people like that. Yeah. But we, we're not going to invade your privacy. No. My goodness, if you don't want to be on it. Uh, uh, and we don't purposely put it on no, anyone. No, but look, you can't record anything in the National Park without getting somebody passing by. You, people who walk through downtown Gatlinburg, 
Oh, you're, yeah. You can't clear the streets of Gatlinburg out to make a video. You're going to get people. And usually, like, even on our hikes or, our, you know, well, campsite, we're on our own campsite. But on a hike, we usually try to wait till we're by ourselves, you know, before we stop mm -hmm. and, you know, might say something. Now, once you're at the top, some people are going to be up there. Absolutely. But, you know, we don't try to get people in it. I mean, nobody's ever said anything to us bad or negative, but, you know, yeah, you do try yeah. to respect people. Absolutely. So, you know, I just want to say, I don't know of any YouTuber out there that in the Smoky Mountain area, anyway, I'm not saying there hasn't been one, but we've not seen it, who is causing a problem. I think most try to tell you to respect the park mm -hmm. and to, to uh, respect its resources, to not approach the wildlife, to, to not do things like that. So, um, yeah, we, we are a little troubled by this. It's not going to stop us. We're going to, uh, I mean, we're going to try to do what's right, but... There's things we can do outside the national park. There are hikes we can do that are outside the national park boundary that we should be good on. So yeah, there's plenty for us to do. We'll, we'll still be putting quite a bit out. Yeah, um, you know, it just kind of it does dampen a few things we wanted to do, but hopefully this will get resolved quickly. We're just right hopefully. now we're trying to get some clarity on it. Um, so it seemed like there was other stuff I want to talk about, but I don't really. I can't. My mind's blank now. You got anything? Not anything else on that, but, you know, going forward, we plan on doing some other little fun stuff, you know, that'll be coming up. So yeah. Everybody make sure and stay tuned. Within the next week, we want to, uh, obviously, we're at a slow point right now. We're not really going a lot of places. We did go to Gatlinburg last week to take advantage of some of the restaurants that were offering the buy one, get one free, the Johnson Family Restaurants. Don't really have anything going on until March as far as travels. That's not saying we won't take a ride up to the mountains. If we get a snowfall... Uh, we're heading to Beach and Roll Mountain to, to bring that to you. Uh, Beach Mountain nets a lot of snow because of its elevation. It is closer to us than the Smokies. And the good thing about Beach Mountain is we can drive up there when the Smokies are closed. So uh, we were supposed, they were supposed to have had some snow this weekend, but they only had a lid on it. It wasn't really worth the drive up, so we didn't, we didn't do it. Um, but they'll get some more snow. So we will try to bring you that when it happens. We're trying to watch the weather. But one thing we want to do within the next week, since this is the time of year that people are... Uh, got love on their mind, you know, and all that. And again, I think this is good any time of year. Uh, listen, you don't just tell your spouse once a year that you love them, and you don't do. But uh, you know, since this is a time people kind of try to do something, we're going to maybe talk about us a little bit, and you know, our marriage. We've been married; it'd be thirty years in April. Um, there's a lot I want to say about our marriage too. Some of you uh, on YouTube, we have a lot of YouTube uh, Dr. Phil wannabes that are think they're marriage counselors. Um, you don't know us. Uh, something I think I find fascinating is that people can watch the same video. Her and I, we joke back and forth a lot. We cut up a lot. That's how we are when the camera's off too. Uh, we do that, and we're going to continue to do that. But when we do it, there are people who will write, and 90, this is 95% of the people will write and say, we love the banter between you. It is obvious you, are, you two are so much in love, just the way you go back and forth. And you're right. But then there's a handful of people that it absolutely rubs them the wrong way. And they let us know that. Now, I don't know, do you, do you plan on changing that? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to make a point here. A lot of editing goes into this before a video ever goes up. So, um, we both watch there that. are things that we will talk about. It's so, okay, how would this come across? Mm -hmm. And we always do talk about it. So, let me just go ahead and say this. and Because quite honestly, no, you're not going to come on our channel and, and try to detract from us. or crit our, We don't put ourselves out there so you can critique our marriage. Our marriage is solid. Probably more solid than some of the ones who are critiquing us, I dare say. Um, so let me just say this. If you see it on our video, that's because it was okay with both of us, or, it or you wouldn't have seen it. If it was something that even could be misconstrued, it's taken out before yeah. it ever gets on YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's only happened a handful of times. It wasn't even anything bad. It was just, okay, this might not be taken the right way. So if you see it, don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. If you see it, we're both good with it. Yeah. Um, now... I, I guess I want to, I just, I'm, I felt like I need to deal with that because uh, this week was um, kind of an interesting week. It's probably been the most interesting week we've had uh, as far as we've had, it seemed to have found our fair share of detractors. You're always going to get that. There are people who are just miserable and I'm sorry. I hope, I hope you find peace in your life. But what I was going to say was that we are going to maybe do something. We're just going to sit down maybe here at the table 
and um, bring you a video on um, marriage, uh, maybe, and, and relationships, and showing, since this is what people's on their mind now, you know, we believe the Bible's God's word, and uh, it has a lot to say about how to have a successful marriage. We believe that um, a marriage, even if it's not going well, is savable if both parties will commit to God and put him first. That's what we had to do at a point in our lives. So we might, you know, open up a little bit about us. Because what you see now, yes, we are, we have a solid marriage now, but we, we had to fight through some things to get where we are. And um, I'm glad we did. We, yeah. we could have done, we could have taken the easy route, and, but we did, we, we, we took, we decided we we're going to do what's right and let God help, and he did. And, that's and he's blessed it. Uh, in so, so many ways. Tremendously. So many ways. And it's, and it's good. You know, it, you know, when we were younger, too, you know, when you hear advice, I mean, advice, you can find it more online now, you know, whereas back when we were younger, there wasn't internet, you know, look oh, it yeah. up on your phone or anything like that. But, you know, um, there's so much you can find now. And then when you find someone who actually, you know, puts the Lord first, puts God in the middle of your relationship, and has been through things, and then you listen, you know, mm -hmm. it, it's a blessing and also it help it could help your strengthen your marriage or at least give you wisdom if you're going into a relationship. You know, that, that's always something too to to consider yeah. is, is get all the information that you can. You exactly. Know, so you yeah. know what, so you know. And be willing to learn from other people who have been there. Mm -hmm. The one thing about mistakes is they're repeated because everybody thinks it's not gonna happen to me the way it happened to them. And the fact is to have a solid marriage, you, you got there's a lot of work that goes into it. There's a lot of giving that goes into it, um, and we learn. We like I say, we've had to learn um, sometimes the hard way, um, but I'm glad we learned it. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we're where we are today because uh, just uh, mainly putting God first and committing to doing what was right first yeah. of all, and then you know He work, He works when we're willing to do that. Mm -hmm. So. You know, we're, we may be talking about some things in that. It's give us a week. We want to do another live stream. Here's our issue with doing that from home. We've had a lot of internet problems lately here. Uh, our upload speeds have like been cut in half as far as the speed they are. And I'm honestly afraid to do a live stream from here because I don't want it cutting out. I'm afraid we'll announce it and then it won't. It won't work. Yeah, it won't work. <laughs> so the one we did when we were in Florida, we knew we had good Wi-Fi there. So we kind of tried to take advantage of the fact we were at a motel or a place with good Wi-Fi. I don't, we don't even know what's going to happen if we try to do one here. We have been back and forth with our internet provider for months. Uh, it, it has sped up a little bit, but our upload speeds, just to upload the video, we have had to go places with Wi-Fi just to get our videos uploaded, mm -hmm. especially the ones shot in 4K. Now, the ones in 1080p, uh, that one we did Friday night, it uploaded, I think, by early yesterday afternoon, maybe. Um, still took overnight. Uh, for what a 20 some minute video yeah, in, what it in, should just take yeah. like an hour and this hours. one's in 1080p so it will upload quicker but a lot of our videos shot in 4k so that takes uh, we've had some that take days just to upload doing it from here yeah You're doing it from here yeah mm -hmm. whereas if we do it from a motel a few hours yeah. that's that's how bad our internet has been here at home we're hoping that changes. They they did lay cable out there. Yeah, they we just got cable installed a few weeks ago. They uh, haven't done anything else. It's in the ground, yeah. but yeah. we're waiting for the. We're in a rural out. area that has never had cable until what two weeks ago. Yeah, so we're we're so, hoping that that that's soon. So yeah. we're looking forward to that. So that's why we haven't done another live stream. I thought the one we did went fairly well. Yeah, it was enjoyable. Uh, yeah, I we enjoyed it. Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, we want y'all to be able to ask us questions. Um, I know, like I said, this is a hodgepodge tonight of just different different topics, but we're going to be doing hopefully another live stream soon. Anyway, um, I guess, is that, is that it? For now, I guess, yeah. I feel like there's a list of things I've left out, but here's something else. I, I just feel like I need to come out and say this. Um, and I, please don't take this wrong because uh, this kind of, this is not something that happens often, but... Uh, one of the things so many of you have, have let us know that you appreciate about our channel is that we keep it clean. And we're committed to doing that. Um, some of the people who gripe about my remark last night tell me I need to keep politics out of it. I would just say, you know, I don't tell you how to run your channel. Uh, I've heard some say a lot worse on their channel than what you'll ever hear on this one. You've never heard us curse. You're never going to. You've never heard us say something off color or dirty, and you're never going to because we're not. That's not who we are. So, um, what I'm going to ask for here is just respectfully. Um, I don't tell you how to talk in your in your um, 
personal life or even on your own video, you can say what you want. I respect that. But when you comment on our stuff, please keep the comments clean. Um, I, I, we have a long-standing principle since so many people appreciate us keeping our content clean. We're going to keep the entire channel clean. So what we would kindly ask of you is even if you like us and agree with us, there have been a, t a comment or two that I've had to remove that was even complimentary towards us, but it contained words that we're just not going to use. So, again, I, I would just ask you all to help us with that. If you would, please, uh, if you comment on our video, please make it. A couple yesterday really crossed the line, and your comment went bye-bye, not because you disagreed with us, but because you don't know how to talk. So that's something that we're not going to have even in the comments section. And so I would appreciate it, all of y'all. Uh, please keep the comments clean. Most of y'all have, but there's been a few times where, you know, you can make the same point you're making, and it may even be a valid point. You can make the same point you're making and do it in a clean way. Does that mm -hmm. make yeah. sense? Oh, yeah. So if y'all would help us with that, we, we, we would appreciate it. Um, so um, as far as the National Park thing, we don't, we don't know yet what's going on here uh, or what we're going to be able to do. I will find it disappointing if this is not resolved, but... Uh, and I will say, when I made that video Friday night, I had just gotten wind of it. And I, what I need to learn is wait until I'm calm. And uh, there are things I've made videos I've made in kind of the heat of the moment. I think Friday night might have been one of them. Um, I don't regret anything I said except for the remark that was inaccurate that I have clipped out of the video. Uh, and again, the only reason I clipped it is because it was inaccurate. That was it. Uh, you ask her, I can take criticism. I, I, I made a steal. As far as that goes, criticism doesn't bother me, but if it's inaccurate, I don't want it in there. Mm -hmm. So, um, anyway, I guess that's it. I guess so. But so, we appreciate everybody who watches, who comments. Yeah, we've had a lot of support. We, uh, we really have. And just even before this ever came up, you know, we've got a lot of good subscribers. Uh, we we, got we appreciate yeah. you guys. Uh, honestly, we have our subscribers let us know a lot how much our videos mean, and, and that means a lot to us. It does. Uh, it makes it worth the time and the effort and the work that we do put into it. And it is work. I mean, it really mm -hmm. is. I didn't know how much work it was going to be until I had to start editing. Uh, he does all that. To me, I get to sit here and talk and eat and go places, so it's a lot of fun for me. But, yeah, he, we get home he, or we're in the motel or something, he's over there working on my like sneezing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> or I'll upload to Facebook or try to do that. But, yeah, he, he does the bulk of the... She does mostly the Facebook, 95% of it, and I probably do 95% of the YouTube. Yeah. So uh, if, if somebody's replying to your comment on YouTube, it's usually me and maybe her sometimes and vice versa on Facebook. Yeah. So excuse me. All right. Well, I guess that'll do that. Do it for now. So uh, thank you all for watching. And if you like this, uh, like and subscribe. And please find us on Facebook. All right. And have a blessed evening.